Hello everybody, welcome to Funshine X's Feed the Beast, episode 15. I just remembered that I was going to go back to default texture pack for this one, and uh, let me do that now. Luckily, I have Optifine installed, and I'm having problems with buttons here, but let's see. Into the video settings, texture packs, default. takes just a little bit to load. Back to the default. Okay. Um, this one's gotten more requests, so I guess we'll do this one for until I get bored of it. Anyway, um, so I got a comment on how do you get leather in this map? And uh, it's a good question, and I'm not... I wasn't entirely sure. I assumed um, if you made a big enough grass field that mobs would spawn, and a lot of people agree with that, but there's a lot of people that don't agree with that, saying in the latest versions of Minecraft, no mobs spawn until you spawn new chunks, and then after you spawn that chunk, it'll never spawn again. And, uh, because that's so controversial, I decided to make a copy of my world, and, um, made a test world, and put it in creative mode, and made a gigantic grass you know, chunk. It was like a hundred by a hundred using my nifty tool, the Mercurial Eye. Well, I lit it up, I waited for, I left it AFK for an entire Minecraft day and night and another day and a night, no mob spawned. So, even if it is possible to spawn friendly mobs on grass, I'm not gonna wait for two Minecraft days for that to happen. So, next thing I tried was I created a giant water cage. Uh, using Mercurial Eye, I made glass box, and filled it with water, and uh, lo and behold, a squid appeared inside. And so I got out my transmute, uh, my, my so, excuse me, my philosopher's stone, put some glowstone in my hotbar, and went out there and started clicking away on that thing, and it always stayed a squid. It would never transfer to anything other than a squid. So that was out of the picture. Uh, I went to my hostile mob area and changed all the uh, cobble to grass and clicked away on those and those would always turn into hostile mobs. There was no way to turn them into non to passive mobs. Um, one note, you can turn them into zombie pigmen, so technically you never have to go to the nether to complete this map. You could just turn uh, other mobs into zombies to get the gold, to get you the iron. Um, so, that was out. The only other thing I could think of is it was something that provided for us. And, uh, so I went to the forums, and the creator of the map said, the secret to leather is in the bees, with the bees. And I said, hmm, I don't remember. And I stopped reading because I figured that would, there would be more clues later on in the posts. But then I came to my world and I remembered this chest, or this, uh, sign here. And it says, Beware the Bees. And I did on my creative map because I didn't want to break this machine and ruin my world. I checked, I broke this glass and checked underneath that solar power. There's no chest there. So this sign, no help. And remember, oh, did I just get stuck down here? The very, very first episode, we came up here, we built this ladder to check if there was something up on top. Nothing. Nothing up here. So where's this bee chest? Um, remember, the hidden chest in the nether only had a stick. But remember, it was placed underneath the, uh, the spawning platform. So that's the only way thing I can guess without breaking any any of the blocks to get inside here, that, that there's something underneath this thing. So that's what we're going to do this episode. We are going to go looking for the bee chest. If we can get to the bee chest, hopefully that gives us some trick to get leather. I don't know, but the, according to the map maker, the key to leather is the bees. So what we're going to need is our mercurial eye. Where I put it up here in the toolbox. And I'm going to need some bread because I am running low. And I can put my iron back in here. Our mercurial eye, I believe I put the 
Klein Star up here. This has been charging from the collector. I took everything out of the collector, so it just charges right in here. It's not going super fast, but hey, it's Mark 1. And see, while we don't have any there, it's just going to build up for us in the relay. Okay, so three. Change some of my um, hotkeys around because I now have inventory tweaks. Hooray. Oh, cool. Let's check this out. Yeah. I wanted to make sure this works. Put my Klein Star in here. Oh, I guess I learned it. That's cool. Um, but I want to be able to say, give me a stack of iron and a felled shift click. Look at an entire stack. Sweet. That's so going to be so much better than trying to click, 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 click through the whole thing. So, if I burn that up, I think it goes right back to Klein Star. So, yeah, cool. Okay, three. Klein Star in there. We've got our stone. And we want to get under that thing. So, let's go down this way. Oops, where's our basement? I believe my basement's low enough. I just don't want to fall off with this thing on. Nope, we're not low enough here. We're going to have to go down the water, or make some kind of water descent. Let's eat. This one's starting to die. Okay, um, this is set to make... Oh, how'd that get left on? Enchant level. There we go. Mercurial eye. To make stone. Sounds good. Oh, and the other button was I, I was wondering how to uh, decharge. If you hit V to charge, shift V to charge back down. So let's just do it at a. And what mode are we in? We're in creation mode, transmutation mode, pillar, extension. I don't even know what that one does. But, um, okay, so I'm going to put this away until I get a little bit of a platform to build on. Where are the skeletons over there? I'm going to light up that little mistake I made, but... So this goes in here for now. I'm going to need stone, and we're going to need a bucket of water. Alright. So let's just go down right here in the corner. And our objective here will be to not die. Let's see if we can see anything under here. I should make a day. Oh, there's lava there. Oh, that's probably the what burns the items if you put the wrong item into the thing. Okay, but let's go down a ways. Okay, and this should give us a nice little platform. Okay, cool. Alright, so... Shifting... We can make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to make... Stairs. Which direction? Yeah, maybe right up here. This is probably going to put water everywhere, but that's alright. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. It's daytime now. All right, finally we're out of the water. And now we can go like this. And 
and hopefully we made a nice safe platform. Oop. Not entirely if the water pushes us here. To get down there. Okay, so grab the water back. Good enough there. Alright, so we're going to come down here and then we can use extension mode to build this guy out. So I'll just use the last ones that I have, last stone anyway. Okay. I believe that should be safe. I'm going to bring the mercurial eye and a couple torches over to there and we should be able to explore the entire underneath of that platform. I think I'm out of torches. Let's go in here. Oh, wrong item. Gotta get you out of there. Stack torches, please. Thank you. Oh, that's so much nicer than clicking. Okay. Walking across the narrow bridge with a Mercurial Eye. Lots of fun. Alright, let's make sure we're in the right mode. Extension mode. I'm gonna charge this guy up. Boom. Sweet. Nothing yet. I'd be really upset if there's nothing here. Wild goose chase, right? <laughs> what? Hey, 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 hey. What's that? Sneaky. What do we got here? The bee chest! Now we know why it's called the bee chest. Iron tools. A billion appetite. There it is right there. Eggs. That's our trick. We're going to make chickens out of these. And then we'll use our, our pea stone to get um, the, the rest of them. I'm going to leave some here just in case. Yeah, let's leave a couple here. I don't know why if I'll ever need bees, but who knows. Okay, and I don't want mobs on here. Right, this should be good. Awesome! We are not stuck. So that was probably a major spoiler. I should have, uh, I'll probably, <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely add a, uh, a caution to the beginning of this uh, video so that if you watch, you're probably just joining us now and the trick is to get eggs. I'm not going to tell you how to do it if you don't want to be spoiled. Hopefully you skip to this point in the video and the trick was eggs cobblestone cover. Uh, now you're going to be really confused. Okay. So while we have these here, I right, cannot learn that, cannot learn that. You can learn eggs, okay. We have two stacks. What do you want to do with these? 
We need to make a pen and just breed these guys until we get a bunch of them, and then we can transmute them to other animals. So, let's do that. I'm going to go get a piece of dirt. Change that to dirt. And we're going to go off in this direction. We are in extension mode. Okay, that should be big enough. Um, hmm. If I do wood and put this guy all the way down, maybe one up. Alright, so now our animals are completely trapped in here. That is our pen, and we need to make this grass. So, you know what we need? We need our philosopher stone. Let's see, I'm put all this in here, put half of those. Keep the dirt and stone actually for this guy. Okay, and we've got to be careful what we click because if we transmute dirt, we know that it goes right to sand and this whole area would fall out from under ourselves. So if we shift click to stone and then shift click back, we get grass. So let's charge it up. Shift click. It's dangerous because that doesn't work. This is all sand. Oops. Remember, this is free. It doesn't cost us anything to transmute. Shift B to travel back down, and this one we can just go Shift B. Okay, and I want to leave it like that. Okay, let's get rid of these tools so we don't lose them here. We've got our grass, now we just need those and torches. It'd be really funny if I came back here and a mob had just spawned. <laughs> and I was just like, no! But it, it, alas, it did not happen. Okay, make sure we get ourselves enough to light it. Light this place. I don't know why I'm so anal sometimes. Oh, I can do it this way. up nicely now. Okay, and the last thing we need is a door because I don't want these chickens running off. They are valuable. And I don't want to say what I was about to say. <laughs> and that is, what if I hatch 32 or however many eggs we have and we don't get an animal? Okay. For you... 
I need a second Kleinstar for this guy I wanted to transmute with. Hmm. How much do you cost? Okay, oh yeah, it's fine. Because I only need a piece, of, a couple pieces of you. Make a door. Learn a door. Cool. This one. Charge. This one we'll keep with our guy here. <coughs> I might have not, not made the beginning here too much. Too too bright, so or bright enough. Wow. Close our door and let the chickens hatch. We got one. All right. Okay, we are in business. We have two chickens. We can breed them. Oh, ho holy! That was f four chickens from one egg. Did anyone else see that? Okay, I guess we we crit or something. I don't know. We rolled a perfect twenty, a natural d twenty. Okay, so I want to bring. They're babies right now, so I can't breed them. I can change what they are. And that we need glowstone. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what sort my inventory is. Alright. I don't know what I... There we go. Click that button. Let's go get this out of here. It's got a little bit of charge. And we need glowstone. We don't have anything to target with that. Okay. Oh, there we go. Close down. It's pretty expensive to change animals to other animals. Okay, so glowstone in our inventory. We should be able to come in here and hit, I believe, a bind it to key. We have a yellow sheep. A green sheep. A cow. Oh, come on. Two cows and two chickens. What are we missing? Pigs. All right, let's find the other chickens. What's nice about uh, treasuring these is they grow up instantly. Oh, that's all of our glowstone. If you're wondering why you're doing stuff out of and nothing happens, it's because you're out of glowstone. Sorry about that sound effect, that was probably pretty loud. I was going to check that. Yeah, five. Seems like any louder than five and the sound effects are just too much. Doesn't make any sense to me, but... Oh, okay. You are weird. Okay. That chest just wants to stay open. In fact, it has our weed in it. Is this still working? Okay, just a texture pack glitch. Default texture pack. Ah! But you guys like it, so... That's the one we are using. I left my door open. Hello, Mr. Sheep. Come... 
Make a new baby sheep. Thank you. Oh, he's a green one. Alright, come here, cows. You. And you make another cow. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna have to let them cool down. Um. So I've given, I, uh, hopefully you skipped ahead of the spoiler if you don't want to hear it, but I'm about to give another spoiler, and this is not much of a spoiler because I think it's cheating, and that would be to use an icy item involving taking material that you don't want and getting rid of it, recycling it. Taking the item you get from recycling, combining a bunch of them together to get a certain type of box that when you throw on the ground gives you a random item leather being one of them. So if you want to go the icy route, I was probably giving them too much away, but that's another way that you could definitely get leather. Um, I tested on my test roll, it took me 87 of them before I got leather, and so I wasn't about to do that the other way. And I'm glad I did, because the, the bees was in fact the key. Okay, so um, we bred them, I want to make more of them. What are we at? We're about 26 minutes. Oh, Eternalist Fuel is actually beating diamonds now. These are in a lot of gunpowder. Okay, I'll burn you for glowstone. So we should be able to transmute them and then uh, breathe them immediately. Oh, did you just eat my grass? There's a penalty for eating grass. You turn into a pig, and so does your dad. Oh, okay, now that was just, uh, yeah, let's not talk about that anymore. Okay, chickens. Any of you ready to mate again? Nope, we're still taking care of Junior, huh? Well, Junior's now a pig, I'm sorry. Can't be. One of you needs to be something else. Okay, so now we got three chickens. Pigs are still growing up. Cows, you're all still growing up. <laughs> I think they all think they're the mom and dad. Look at them just hoarding Junior around. Ready, come and get it. Basically, we're just Okay, we're doing pretty good. I think we need some more cows, though, because we're about to slaughter some. So all the babies are going to now be cows. Are we out? Oh, yeah, we ran out. Okay. That's fine. 
Whoa, not a wolf. Oh no, oh no. Don't eat my sheep. Come here, wolf. Come on. Alright, I know what to do. He's gonna eat all my animals. Bone mail, if I'm not mistaken. It's a bone. Okay, hopefully, some animals are still alive. Where are you? Oh, now that you're mad, you won't. Okay. Well, that, I guess you can't, uh... What are you guys doing? Can't tame a dog after you've smacked it in the face. Well, that's fine. We'll be ready next time. Okay, so we need our sword. And I really only need two animals. But let's just kill a couple cows. Get our leather. Leather and meat. Oh no, I don't know which one I hit. Smart pig. Okay. So that's going to do it for this episode. We uh, set out to find the bee chest. We got the bee chest, and from there, that was the trick to getting leather. Now we have leather. We've learned it. We've learned raw beef, and we've learned raw pork chop. Leather will be used to make a retriever, which is one of the items we need. Next item, uh, next episode, we are going to light up some lights. Refinery, we've got plenty of diamonds for. Retriever, we just got our leather for. So 16 is going to be a big episode to get some lights lit up on the machine. Until next time, this has been Funshot X's Feed the Beast. Catch you guys later. Bye.